Okay, so today we have Francesca with us. She's going to talk about the safe places in Milan. So, Francesca, what is the safest place you consider? Um, I think that in Milan, my city, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, safe places. Um, for example, also a lot of uh, new networks in the city, um, like um, the quarters of uh, Citta Studi, that is uh, close to university and so really useful for students. Um, and the apartments are um, also cheap because uh, thinking also about uh, people that studied in Milan um, for Erasmus, for example. And so in uh, Gita Studi, I think that uh, people that especially studied uh, at the University of um, Polytechnico, so engineer studies, uh, they could find uh, good uh, places. Um, and uh, also, I think that other kind of um, safe place in Milan could be um, the area close to City Life and Arco della Pace. I know that it is more expensive. Uh, for example, here, uh, this area, um, like uh, City Life, is uh, the new commercial center that they built like ten, five, ten years ago. Um, and here there is the um, park, Champione. Um, this area is uh, really, um, for example, Domodossola is uh, a network uh, um, really um, safe, uh, residential neighborhood, um, and also think that uh, it's a good idea to live in this uh, network, also in that part uh, close to Portello, for example, where there is another park in which uh, you can do um, sports, for example. Um, the thing is that, uh, especially in this area of Arco della Pace, the uh, apartments are um, more expensive uh, because it's in the center. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't see a 3D. In fact, uh, if you go here, especially close to uh, the center of Milan, like uh, especially close to the Duomo, the apartments are really expensive. And also, I think that, uh, for example, I will not recommend this area to young people also because, for example, during the night, uh, you don't have a lot of opportunity to go out in the center because uh, oh. generally people maybe thought, uh, think like uh, uh, in the uh, center of a city is like uh, okay the most uh, beautiful nightlife. But uh, if I have to be honest, for example, uh, in uh, this area, can I do it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In this area, for example, there are uh, um, the university close, so is uh, is good, but. Uh, there are more uh, um, shops uh, like um, Zara or, uh, oh. uh, for example, if you go... Um, it's a more expensive zone. See, si, it's more expensive and also if you go, like, uh, for example, in this part, the Teatro La Scala, in this uh, neighborhood, is really beautiful, uh, but more to, to visit because uh, close to Monte Napoleone, for example, here there are a lot of expensive shops like uh, Armani, oh. Um, I don't know, Cartier, these kind of uh, shops. And uh, one of my favorite zones in Milan are uh, um, this one that is uh, Brera. And I think that it is the, um, an, ancient quarter, uh, an ancient quarter of Milan. Um, really nice but uh, expensive. Uh, but for example, to um, go during the 90s, uh, a good idea. Um, and uh, if I had to recommend, for example, a place to live, uh, I think that I could think uh, about this uh, quarter, this area, um, mm. because it's uh, in um, interesting, this part in uh, uh, Pagano, for example, Conciliazione, but I think that there the um, apartments are expensive. Okay, I mean, in Milan, <laughs> the apartments are expensive <laughs> everywhere to rent, but for example, this uh, neighborhood, Washington, Zona Solari, also close to the park is really nice also for the night and it's not dangerous um, and um, I think that is one of the best uh, um, neighbor of the city to live um, it's also interesting uh, the party close to Porta Genova close to Navigli uh, because it's uh, I think that is unique uh, in Milan this kind of uh, um, neighborhood because it's like um, oh yeah it is uh, a canal yeah it is a canal uh, and uh, so it's really beautiful especially during the day there are a lot of uh, underground uh, bars for example um, but uh, it's also true that during the night uh, it's not so so safe if I have to be honest oh. 
maybe I will talk. I, I'm talking like a girl that uh, doesn't uh. feel safe everywhere. Um, but for example, uh, yeah, I think that there are more um, safe uh, uh, networks during, especially during the the weekend, because now in the last uh, after COVID. The, in Milan, uh, um, it's like the people got crazy, oh. <laughs> like maybe everywhere. Oh. And so, for example, a lot of time uh, you listen about some uh, news uh, during the weekends, especially people drunk and uh, these kind of things. Oh. And, and so, for example, I think that uh, Navigli is amazing during the week, uh, but during the weekend maybe not. Okay. <laughs> the same of uh, Porta Venezia, for example, and other uh, area that where it's um, nice to go out, but. Uh, Maybe not so during the weekend, okay. in the night. And uh, the other areas around? Um, here is like uh, going this way, we go um, far from the center. Um, for example, I think that uh, this part is um, of uh, Fiera, Bullona, De Angeli is really safe. Okay, Solari uh, is really safe. Um, Buenos Aires is uh, also a network close to the um, uh, this part, um, Farini um, and uh, yeah, uh, uh, Central Station and uh, Buenos Aires are not so safe. Um, station Central uh, basically because it's a station. Uh, oh. Generally, is uh, maybe yeah. the small crimes in the Central yeah, Station. Yeah, that kind of things. Uh, and Buenos Aires uh, um, is night because it has a lot of um, shops, uh, but uh, also in the night it's not so. Um, I mean, it could be more dangerous. Uh, and uh, especially.